So guys, to fix Steam crashes on any game, for the first step, you want to head over to your Steam library and then you want to find your game. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on installed files and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now for the second step, you want to click on browse and then you want to find your game and then .exe at the end. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on the compatibility tab and then you want to tick run this program in compatibility mode, disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator and then click on OK. Now for the next step, we're going to head over to search again and type in display settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to scroll down. You want to make sure that your display resolution is on the recommended resolution and also for your scale as well. Make sure that it's on recommended. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in game mode settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that game mode has been turned on. For the next step, we're going to head over to search again and type in graphic settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that under add an app, you have desktop app selected and then click on browse. And now you want to find where you have your Steam game installed. So for me, it's on my C drive. Scroll down. Program files 86. Scroll down again. Steam. Scroll down again, Steam Apps, Common, and then here's all my games. So let's say that I want to use the game Vector, you want to double click on it, and then find the .exe file. You want to double click on it again, which will then make it appear here. Now click on Options, and click on High Performance, and then click on Save. Now for the last step, you want to make sure that your graphics card driver is up to date. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can download GeForce Experience. If you're using an AMD graphics card, you can download the AMD Radeon software tool. Now you want to head over to the Drivers tab, and then click on Check for Updates. And if you have an update, then you can download it. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.